Mom! Mom, I have good news for you! We won't hear what today. Can the day be over already? Wow, baby girl. Are you jealous of your brother? Jealous? No way. <laughs> On the contrary, mm -hmm. I'm very much here that the star student is my big brother. Yeah, so <laughs> then let's allow him revel in the moment, okay? Mm -hmm. Don't you think he deserves it? Yes, but you know, I have already resigned myself to mom always and as and fawning over him because of the award. <laughs> mom can be extra, you know. <sighs> and you can be very attractive, madam. <laughs> Come on, let's go and join this celebration. Okay. <laughs> So proud of you, son. Wow! Best student award goes to Kerry mm. Obi. <laughs> this is amazing. Thank you, Mom. Honey, have you seen this? Yes. He won the best student award. Yes, he showed it to me. Very cool. Did he also tell you that he has been bestowed the honor of the school senior prefect? <gasps> <laughs> well, I'm not surprised. I've always known you have what it takes. Thanks, Mom. I'm really proud. Really proud. <laughs> Ella, have you seen your brother's award? Yes, Mom. And we're all proud of Henry the Star Student. Aren't we, Dad? Yes, we are. <laughs> Sharp mouth. Just make sure you become an A student like ah. your brother. Thanks, Mom. But, Mom, I don't really need A's to make a successful entrepreneur. Okay. Besides, I can always employ smart people like Henry to work in my company when the time comes. <laughs> So, this is not even funny, you know. Like, I don't get it. See, see, you see this one? I am very, very Once again, my champ. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know he got this from me. Oh, come on. It's true. He's taking after a his child's father. IQ comes from I the mother. I say he's taking after his Google father. Google it. You know. Wow. <laughs> it's sure a special day. See all the goodness we've enjoyed. Of course. We're celebrating your brother. Tell his big brother. Please keep bringing home the things. Oh, you're not serious enough. <laughs> I do not know a more exasperated child. Listen, madam. Now, whether you like it or not, you're bringing home a university degree with upper class honors. Okay, mom. Uh, oh, um, talking about degrees, Henry, have you made up your mind what degree you're going to pursue in the university? Oh, don't worry about our Henry. He's going to be a medical doctor. It's obvious from his grades. He can make it, I know. <laughs> yes. Besides, I don't, I don't mind the title. Doctor's mom. Well, Mom, but I... No, but, my darling. I trust you. You can make it. Come on, Mom. Good grace or not. What everyone wants to be a medical doctor. Will you shut up? What do you know? Listen, you better be ready to read law or accounting. Because no child of mine will be underachieved. You hear me? Come on, darling. Take it easy on them. Hmm? With time, they are going to work out their niche. No, oh, well. With these children of nowadays, I'm not leaving anything to chance. Uh, Mom, good night. Dad, good night. Good night, Mom. Dad, it's your school. Hey, come on, guys. Tomorrow is Saturday. See so what you have cost. What have I cost? At least I made my point. Take it easy on them, okay? okay? I'm trying. Uh, well, I um... I'll just try it. Push up. Just take it easy. Don't go and kill yourself. Yeah. But it's working. Yeah. And I like it. You like my shape? Yes, I do. <laughs> I never uh, wanted that. I'm sorry to interrupt whatever was that was going on here. But mm -hmm. I was cleaning today and I came across your old phone. So? So I was wondering if you could give it to me? No. Yes, you can, my son. You can have it, eh? Thanks, Dad. Donald, hmm? he's too young to have a phone. Besides, it's not even yours to give away. <laughs> <laughs> too young? 
I'm going to be 16 in two weeks. So remind me. And besides, most of my schoolmates already are for All your friends. Yes. Well, if their parents are comfortable with them having a phone, being exposed to all the eels on social media, that's fine. I'm not comfortable. So no, you can't have it. But Come on, baby. Let him have it. Uh, well, <laughs> you can always trust him to have it, okay? Yes. Uh, besides, if you are not comfortable with uh, the way he's using it, you can check out on him. Hmm? Are you kidding me? You're supporting that he owns a phone at 16? Yes, yes. Come on, you can have it, okay? Thanks a lot, yeah. guys. Are you? Thank you. Oh, oh. Uh, thanks. Donald, oh. you shouldn't. Henry, I. Let him have it. I don't want to be late. Wow, Harry, I still cannot believe mom gave you her old phone. Mm, it was more or less dad's dream, but... <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. There you are. Henry, will you stop fiddling with that phone? Run to the store down the street and get me detergent. I didn't know we ran out. Listen to me, young man. If I find out that this phone has become a distraction to you in any way. I won't hesitate to take it back. I never wanted you to have it in the first place, remember? Mm, yes. Great. Ella. Ah, uh, yes, Mom. To the kitchen. I need you to help me. Nina! There you go, Nina. You sure a naughty girl? Oh, hi. Aren't you? That's a cute dog you have there. I suppose it's yours? Yeah, obviously. Well, um, what breed is he or she? <laughs> I think it's a crossbreed. It's a she. Yes. Crossbreed. I don't know about that. Oh, wow. Okay, can I see? Oh. Okay, from a closer look, I think she's, I don't think she's a crossbreed. She's a German Shepherd, if you ask me. <laughs> I wouldn't have known. I only know she's an adorable pet. Mm, sure. Hey, you seem to know more about dogs. Well, just a little. No way. With the way you call the different breeds. It shows you're lying. So tell me, do you have one? Um, unfortunately, no. My mom doesn't like dogs. She's allergic. Oh, what's a boomerang? <laughs> you can say that again. Okay. Um. I wouldn't mind playing with the dog as, as I'm heading home. Where are you headed? That direction. Well, I'm also heading that direction. Uh, so Lucky you. Thank you. All right. She's very cute. <laughs> I can yeah. say she really likes you. Well, I guess it's mutual. I like her too. Um, okay. But unfortunately, I have to bring this friendly play to a stop. I'm home now. What? You live here? Yes. Is that a problem? No. We're actually neighbors. That's my house. Are you serious? Yeah. We're neighbors? Sure we are. You told me how come I haven't met this Beauty until now. Um, that's because we just moved in barely two weeks ago. Oh, I guess that explains it. Yeah. Um. <laughs> um so I'm sorry, I have to go home right now. My mom will be waiting for me. Okay. Bye then. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Wait, um, I didn't quite catch your name. <laughs> because I didn't quite trace it. It's Dara Simi. Dara for short. Oh, um, I'm Henry. Okay. And it was nice meeting you. <laughs> Maybe we'll here. see you some other day. All right. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> um. Ella. Um, yes. You mean Henry is not yet back? Um, no, Mom. I haven't seen him. How long does it take to buy detergent from down the road? Uh -huh. <laughs> Speak of the devil. Where have you been? And oh, you better have a good enough explanation. Um, Mom, I... I was playing with the neighbor's dog. I didn't hear that. Say that again. I... I was playing with the neighbor's... Do I look stupid to you? Henry, do I look stupid to you? Look at the time. Bring out your phone and look at the time. One hour to buy detergent from down the street. And you come back here and tell me this stupid story about playing with a dog? No, I'm not lying, Mom. I swear to you. You dare swear? Don't ever swear when I'm talking to you. There's something wrong with you. Now listen to me. If I ever find you making friends, Henry, when I call you, answer. Henry! Yes, ma'am. If I ever catch you making friends with anybody in this neighborhood, what I will do to you, you will not believe it. Give me one hour to buy detergent from the street. You're trying yourself. What are you doing here? Are you done in the kitchen? There you are, Dara. What kept you? <laughs> you know, I was about to send out a search party. <laughs> Relax, Mom. As you can see, I'm fine. It's a new neighborhood. So I won't just relax knowing that my only child is out on the street and alone. Actually, I wasn't alone. I ran into a neighbor and he loved dogs, so I let him play with Nina. A neighbor? Mm-hmm. I see you have started making new friends. <laughs> okay, all right, please. Run along. I want you to freshen up. Your meal is in the cooler in the kitchen, okay? Okay, Mom. You're the best. Eh? Don't thank me yet, all right? You're making dinner tonight. No problem, Mom. Uh -huh. As a matter of fact, I enjoyed my meal more than yours. Excuse me? <laughs> hey, who taught you? <laughs> you, of course better, so I'm still the teacher. Hey. I'm sorry about Ellie, okay? I know that slap must have hurt a lot. <laughs> what hurts more is that I wasn't even lying. I actually went to see the neighbor's dog. I know. I never doubted you, okay? <laughs> Hi! Is that the dog? Yes. She's <sighs> cute, isn't she? Wow! Yes, she is. I would love to meet this dog too. <gasps> if we are lucky, maybe one of these days we'll see them. You know, Mom will definitely allow us to go and visit someone because of a dog. So. Yeah. You're right. Anyways, I came to check how you're doing. I'm off to my room now. It's Saturday time for me. Bye. Hmm. For someone who doesn't care about A grades, you sure do a lot of studying. Uh, go away. <laughs> You're welcome, Mrs. Sobi. 
Thank you for your prompt response to my invitation. Please don't mention it. Actually, anything that concerns my children's academics, I take as top priority. <laughs> That's good to hear. You see, you have very exceptional children. Thank you. It's God's grace. Miss Obi, I actually invited you to inform you that your son Henry, our Henry, has been selected as one of the students to represent our school in the national mathematics competition coming up in three months' time, precisely during the long break. This is awesome. News. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you see, Henry has been instrumental to our school scaling through the first and second stages in the competition. Well, he mentioned the competition earlier. Yeah, yeah, he did. Okay, so Miss Sobi, the reason I invited you, hmm. I would like you to help us in the home front to engage Henry more in his studies. I need him to put in more effort in his studies okay. as this competition is going to be a very tough one. Hmm. So we need Henry to merge the winner as this is going to boost our school's yeah. reputation. Right. So I would like you to put in your best in the home front, I please. I, I want us to work together yes. so that our school can emerge the winner. Okay. I promise you I will do the best that I can. Thank you so much, Mrs. Obi. Yes. I know I could count on you. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. I was very excited. I am so proud of you. So proud. Hey. <laughs> I am so proud of you. What? Thanks, Mom, but I don't want my friends to see us. What if they see us? You need to call me a baby. But you're a baby, my baby. Mm. Okay, that's fine. All right, you know what? I'll see you at home. Um, you heard what the principal said? Yes, Mom. Are you going to study hard enough? Yes, Mom. I trust you. Okay, I'll see you at home. Uh, Mom, what, what about Ella? What about Ella? I mean... You're here now, so aren't you going to see her? I didn't come here for Ella. Tell her I said, when she studies hard enough, that the principal has to invite me on her behalf, then I would come. Then I'll see her. Otherwise, I'll see her at home. My goodness, is that your blessing? Ajoke. Oh, oh my God. God. This is a pleasant surprise. Oh, yeah, it, you can <laughs> say that again. Oh. How long has it been? Ever five years. Oh. How have you been? Very well, I'm good. And you? Good, I'm fine. Oh my goodness, how's your family? Well, it's okay. And Donna? He's good. Ooh. You know, Henry is 16 now. Wow. And he has been promoted to school senior prefect. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank I'm you. I'm happy for you, my sister. Thank you so much. So <laughs> tell me, what are you doing in my neighborhood? The last time I know you, your family moved to Abuja? Yeah. What can I say, my sister? I mean, I moved back to Lagos after my divorce. And I stay very close to this place. I'm so sorry <laughs> to hear that. You know it's what? Okay. Tell me where you stay and I promise to pay you a visit. Really? Yes. Okay. <laughs> so, <Okay. yeah. laughs> Good to see you. Good to see you too, dear. Mm. Mm. Honey, you never guess who I ran into at the supermarket today. No. Who? Oh. Ah, Jockey. Remember her? My colleague at my former place of work. The one you had eyes on until you met me. <laughs> That's funny. I trust you not to forget. You exasperating woman. But I told you, there was no chemistry between us then. Whatever. Ooh. Anyway, she moved into our neighborhood newly. You don't say. Yes. And how she do it? She's fine. She's divorced. She has a daughter. I see. Uh, uh, well, for her to move into this our neighborhood, mm -hmm. it means she's doing fine for us. Oh, yes. I guess she is. Mm -hmm. I actually promised I was going to pay her a visit, get to know the place, and I think I should go with the children. Oh, that's nice. You better do that, eh? Uh, after all, both of you were best friends in those days. Until you came along and scattered the friendship. Ah, ha, ha. I'm innocent, too. <laughs> uh, I'm innocent, too. Anyway, um, <clears throat> it's good a thing that she moved in. You know how someone to visit 
when I travel next week. Is this an opportunity to tell me that you're traveling? You never mentioned that to me. Yeah, um, mm. well, the occasion seemed right and then I just capitalized on it, okay? <laughs> um, you're not serious. Oh, come on. Don't tell me. <laughs> Let me see. Missing you. Mm -hmm. I'm not missing you. The children are around. Yeah, I know they're around. They're what is that? Please leave me at home. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> you know, I miss you already. I don't mind taking you to the airport myself. Oh, come on. It's okay that way. Eh? At least this will save you the stress of uh... driving. I'm not <laughs> complaining. <laughs> Besides, if you live with me, who's going to take care of these uh, lovely kids for us? God, I'm a big boy now. I can, <laughs> I can take care of everything. Mom, Ella. Oh, I'm yes. Funny. Yes, I know, I know. <laughs> Lest I forget, I asked your brother to come and stay with you people for the two weeks. I will be away. What? <laughs> Every day into the sky. Uh -huh. uh -huh. you. you didn't have to. I don't have strength for Darlington's Wahala. <sighs> come on, baby. You need... A man in the house when I'm not there, you know. Besides, who better than your brother? Hmm? Oh, better go before I miss my flight, okay? Come on, come on, come on, come on, give daddy a hug. Okay. Uh, come on, baby, are you waiting for me to. <laughs> mm -hmm. See ya! Bye. Okay, back to the kitchen. You haven't started peeling. Mom, it's entering into my eyes. Oh, so all this while I do the cooking, you don't know that I put onions in it. Young man, you should be helping us out here in the kitchen. You know that. I hope you don't end up like those useless men out there who think it's a woman's place to cook clean and grovel over them. God forbid. Oh, what? Mom, that was totally uncalled for. I help out in the kitchen sometimes and you know it. Not sometimes, maybe not enough. And don't you ever speak to me like that again. Do you understand? Go and read. What is that? What's keeping you? Oh yeah, caught. It's entering into your eyes. But I will cook and you will eat. Taller than I am now. What have you been eating? <laughs> come here, come here. Yeah. Miss you too. Ella, Ella, come here. Oh my God, it's me. Oh my God, <laughs> Ella. Oh <goodness>. Ella. <laughs> Look at you. Wow, my little pretty princess. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm fine. I'm cool. Thank you. I'm not so little. Ah, please forgive me. My bad. <laughs> my baby girl. Mm -hmm. Uh, 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 please don't call her that. She's not your baby girl. Ah, uh, uh, sister, be coming down now. It's just the harmless term of affection. What is harmless about your gender? She's not your baby girl. Sister, listen. To be honest with you, I do not have time for this. You all your lectures until you have fed me properly because I am hungry. <laughs> sister, for real, like, you're, I don't know. What? I'm doing a good job. Yes, you are, you are, you are. <laughs> And it's so good to see you too. Whatever. Please show your uncle to the guest room. Sister. Ella. Yes, mom. Let's finish up. Thank you, mom. Um, uh, okay, yeah. Right behind you, soldier. 
<laughs> hey, blessing. You shouldn't have. Oh, well. <laughs> what is a housewarming visit without some food? Thank you. Thank you, my sister. Ah, thank you very much. Come on, guys. It's, it's my pleasure. Don't even mention it. <laughs> Sit down. Make yourself comfortable. Mm. Dara! Dara, baby! Come on! Our guests are here. <laughs> You've got a lovely home. Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay, that's oh she my is. God. I don't believe this. Nina is yours. <laughs> Come on, darling. You guys know each other? Uh, yes, Mom. I and I ran into Dara and the dog when I was by the Of course. <laughs> Come on, Dara. I want you to say hello to my friend Lessing. Good evening, evening. Ma. And her daughter. They brought us some food. Hi, Bella. Hi, Dara. Your dog is so cute. Ooh. What's her name? Nina. I told you before, remember? <laughs> oh, I remember now. <laughs> Children and dogs. Dara, love, why don't you take your new fan friends to your room, okay? Why I chase with my friend. Okay, okay mom. All right. And don't forget to serve them refreshments. <laughs> Guys. Okay. <laughs> okay. Shall we? Ooh. Oh, bless them. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So, let mm. me share the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of our God, and the spirit of the Holy Spirit, rest and abide with us now forevermore. Amen. And surely, God, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. 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 Good night, my dear. Good night, good night, good night, sweet dreams. Henry, just a minute. I couldn't help but notice the friendship between you and that girl, what's her name? Ajoke's daughter. And I would not stand for any closeness between the two of you. Do you understand? Mom, Peter and I are just friends. Man. Shut up! Boys and girls have no business being friends. I've been noticing some changes about you. <laughs> I have my eyes on you. One wrong move. One wrong move, Henry. I will show you the real color I'm made of. Honestly, sister, you just hurt his feelings. What is that? Who asked your opinion? Sorry, I'm just saying there are better ways to pass your message without making him feel low. I mean, Henry's almost 16. It's only natural for him to like a girl. Oh, please. Please, please, please. I don't need your lectures. You hear me? Obviously, we can see how well your life turned out with your philosophies. Do not. Darlington, do not mislead my son. Hello. Mom? Where's your brother? Um, I don't know. But he's probably still getting ready. At this time. Henry! 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 Mom, I'm in the, I'm in the bathroom. You're in the what? Come out of that room before I break down this door. Come out! What were you doing in there? What is why, taking you why, so long? Why are you shouting? Are you stupid? How dare you ask me that kind of question? What were you doing in there for so long? I, I, I was just using the toilet. You were just using the toilet. You don't know what time it is? Don't you know what time it is, you silly child? What is going on? I could literally hear you from my room. Listen to me. If in two minutes you're not downstairs and your sister goes to school late because of you, you will see what I'll do to you. Excuse me. This is what... Harry, what happened? What's going on? Come on, Harry, talk to me.
Come on, cheer up. Can't be that bad now. Good, okay? Uh, Stay out of trouble. Henry, are you ready to talk to me about what happened this morning between you and your mother? It's nothing. It can't be nothing. I saw how upset it got you. Talk to me. Actually talking to Harry. Anyway, I have to run. I have an appointment with a client. I left some food in the microwave. You know what to do. Yeah. Oh, what do you mean, sis? Actually, uh, I would like to talk to you about Henry. Henry? Yes. What about Henry? Well, Harry told me why you were angry with him this morning. He told me what you said to him. And what about that? You know, I can't help but wonder what it was you accused him of doing in the bathroom. I hope it's not what I'm thinking. <laughs> you of all people should know. When you were his age, you were chief masturbator. So you should... Come on, sis, don't be ridiculous. Can you even listen to yourself? I can't believe that you would accuse your son of masturbating just because you think that's what teenage boys do when they're all by themselves. And even if you are right, which you are not, do you think treating with such content is the best way to shade him against something like that? Well, I don't think. I know, Darlington. You are wrong. You are so wrong. Trust me, what you are doing is planting negative ideas into that boy's head. And when that backfires, you will have yourself to blame. <laughs> I don't believe this. And what the hell gives you the guts to presume that you can lecture me on parenting? I'm not presuming anything. I'm not lecturing you on anything. But what I'm saying is, I am speaking from a man's perspective. And this, this is so wrong. Seriously? And he walks out of me. I handle this when I get back. Oh my guys, have you seen a new gear? I'm gonna get too fine. Which new girl are you talking about? Wait, you mean you haven't seen her yet? Oh, guys, now no get her, you. My case, she's in your class. Oh, 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 you mean her? Yeah, her name is Dara. Trust me, all boys are legit swooping over her. <laughs> By the way, I finally convinced my dad to throw me a small get together party. So, I'm, I'm inviting both of you to come on Saturday. I don't, I don't get that. If Harry out, Harry is not going to be there. Michael. You wouldn't know that one comes. Speak for yourself. Okay. You want to place a bet on it? Toby, 
Harry is the mommy's boy. His mom won't allow him go anywhere. Michael, that's a lie. Stop it. Prove me wrong. If I show up in Toby's house on Saturday, then I'll consider I was wrong. Well, you've got yourself a deal. Okay. Great. I'll be meeting you guys in my house on Saturday. Hello. Hi. Hi, Larry. Uh, thank you. Thing that you already made up. Yeah, you be cool, cool. Yeah, I know if you hear it, mommy's boy. You. Sure. Yeah. yeah, no, don't worry, I'll be back soon. I know, come on. I know, I know, I know. Well, it's fine. It's alright. Let me call you back. Um, hi, Uncle Darlington. Big boy. What's up? Nothing much. I don't ever want to see you smoking cigarettes. It's an evil vice. You hear me? Then that must mean you're an evil uncle. Uh... Um, but you know you can choose to lead by example by stopping it. What can I say? I'm probably a lost cause. That's why I'm making sure to warn you to desist from. Thanks. But why? Why do you do it? Why do I do what? Smoke. I mean, doesn't the thought of dying young scare you enough? Huh. Well, um, you see. Nicotine addiction is the worst type of addiction. Like you know this thing could kill you, but you can't help yourself. I wish I never started this. I wish I could stop. But you could stop if you truly desire to, if you have the willpower. Spoken like a true optimist. Well, I'll give you that thing before your mother sees it and starts yelling. You know how she will be. Mm. You know, I was thinking of a situation where... Mom, it's not what you think. Stop now! Stop now! Stop now! You, 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 you foolish boy! You have decided to... Oh, wait. You are not experimenting with smoking. You are experimenting with smoking. No. You decided to form a smoker's club with your uncle. Oh, we are ready for you. Oh, I'm, ready. I'm, ready. I'm ready for you. 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 You think you would disgrace me? You can't even smoke. That's enough. What is what That's is enough. That you keep out of this. It's not your business. I will not stay aside and walk you a bit hairy because you saw a pack of cigarettes in his hand. The cigarette is mine. Smoking. Of course I know the cigarette is yours. I know, I want you. I told you to keep your evil vices away from my home. Do not come and corrupt my children. I'm working so hard to make sure they are disciplined. You know what? Get into that room, pack your things, and get out of my house. You! You! Henry, you! My sisters, we all know what the Bible says in Proverbs 13, 24. That he that spares the rod spares the child. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I believe in the old way of parenting. Tight fists, hold them tightly. Because these young children of these days, in this 21st century, 
I mean, in this day and age, I think we should play down on corporal punishment. Flogging and spanking are not my parenting techniques. I don't. <laughs> Even I don't. the Bible supports it. Flogging as a disciplinary measure is allowed in the Bible. And the Bible is my manual. Thank you, my sister. You know, a whole lot has been going on about parenting of the old. Some say it's abusive and not recommended for our children. But as for me, I follow the olden way of training up children and just find a balance to it. Simple sisters, let's just find a balance Hit to it. with the left, bring close with the right. That's you just it. And I honestly am impressed that Matilda shares my view. Well, I learned the thing not to, but honestly, my opinion stands. I'm totally against the way our parents went about parenting all. In fact, I am one of those who see it as a total abuse. They ended up raising damaged and abusive adults. I'm outstanding that you think like this. Do you know how weird and promiscuous a lot of us would have turned out? A lot of us would have ended up with unwanted pregnancies. So? Didn't most go for abortion secretly and ended up losing their wombs in the process? <sighs> what about the men? The men ended up with the same vices which they got beaten up for. Are you saying it's wrong to discipline children? No. That is not what I'm saying. I mean, there are two different things. There is discipline and there is abuse. A lot of us didn't get to feel or know what it means to be loved by our parents or shown affection by our parents because they were busy iron handling us. Well, I for one, I'm grateful for the way my parents raised me. My father especially. He was a strict disciplinarian. One wrong move, he will pounce on you. Really? In fact, he will put pepper in your eyes. In fact, I remember those days. He would constantly ask my mom to check me to be sure I was still a virgin. Good Lord. <laughs> you don't mean it. That's the extreme, if I may say. Oh, well, they kept us in check. Listen, are you trying to tell me that you married Donald as a virgin? Uh, well... Eh, eh, blessing. There are no buts about this. This thing never really worked. The old world turned us into sneaky, accomplished liars. I am an advocate of befriending your children, counseling them properly, and guiding them right. Above all, loving the children. Are you trying to say that you've never had any reason to beat Dara, your daughter? <laughs> I don't beat my child. I mean, Dara, it's a big girl. And by God's grace, she's turning out well for a 15-year-old. Hmm. Ajoke, mm. don't be too sure. <laughs> these children, these 21st century children, mm. <laughs> I'm not taking chances. Really? I always stay a step ahead of my children. It's not me they will come and disgrace you. Mm-mm-mm. I can't. Bless him. Oh. Uncle Darlington, can I ask you something? Yeah, sure. <laughs> um, why are you so different from mom? What do you mean exactly when you say different? I mean, Mom is always shouting, like strict and stuff. But you, on the other hand, you're gentle. You try to understand us kids. Uh, I get it now. I guess your mom took after your grandparents. They were quite strict. And I used to think they were very mean. But that's not to say that they didn't love us. Just as I know, your mom loves you. <laughs> She could try to be gentler. 
have you tried talking to her about how you feel? <laughs> You're kidding, right? No, I'm not kidding. I think you should. And in Kyo Haro? No. <laughs> you... Just... Darling, I thought I asked you to leave. Yes, you did. But your husband asked me to come help you out. So I'll leave when he returns. If you don't mind. And you, young man, what are you doing here? You have no assignments? Have you read your books today? Have you read? My friend, go to your room and read. Yes, ma'am. How are you? Hi. Dara, is uh, there anything you want? Uh, no. I mean, yes. Um, you see, my mom asked me to itch a ride back home with you since she won't be able to come on time today. So, she has a meeting to attend to. Sure, why, why not? Um, um, Can she come with us? Yeah, Please. yeah, sure. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Uncle Darlington. Thanks, Henry, for dropping me off. Yeah, sure. It was my pleasure. See you in school tomorrow. Yeah, see you. Okay. Bye. Bye. Okay. I would have thought that my nephew is such a gallant gentleman. Actually, I think Henry has a gigantic crush on Dara. You shut up, Bella. Nobody asks you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come on. It's all right, I know. I know you like her. I don't. You do? To be honest with you, I don't think anything is wrong with you liking her or crushing on her. As a matter of fact, I'm actually proud of you. Proud of me? Yeah, to be honest with you, I think there's nothing wrong with you liking her. Because she's beautiful. Come on, it's I. I'm proud of you for real though. Let's go. <laughs> It's a stain. I know it's a stain. What stain is this? Blood stain. A blood stain. Can you explain to me how it got here? I don't know, Mom. I swear. I just removed it and saw the blood stain there, and it kept coming. When did this start? It was yesterday, Mom. But I told my teacher in school today, and she explained to me that it was my period. She gave me a sanitary pad and taught me how to use it. What? Your period came and you didn't tell me. Rather, you went to tell a total stranger. 
I'm sorry, Mom. I'm sorry. I was thinking that you would be angry if I told you. Okay, I'm not angry. Since you have no sense and decided to go and tell your secret to a total stranger, it's okay. But every month when that period comes, be ready to go back to that stranger and get money for parts. Go and wash these things yourself. Oh yeah. Pack these things and go and wash. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Ella! Ella! Oh, gosh, there you are, Ella. I've been looking everywhere for you. Go away, Harry. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to talk to anyone. Ella, Ella. are you crying? Why are you crying? When I didn't see in your room, I just knew you were going to have me cry. You hurt her, didn't you? Mom called me a useless girl. Uh, you and I know that you're not a useless girl. Mom said I would get pregnant and hide it. How could you say it like that to me? Am I not a daughter? And God knows. God knows I didn't tell Mom about the period because I was scared. I was scared she was going to blame me for it. I'm not getting pregnant. Please stop crying. <laughs> Harry! Um, yes? Let me have it. Um, Mom, let you have what? That thing you just hid. But I didn't hide anything. Henry. Henry, if I call you one more time, let me have whatever it is you just hid. In fact, let me have the phone. Now! I have to wrestle you for the phone. Let me have it. Since you got this phone, you have lost concentration. You. Mommy. Please. Please. 
Henry. <laughs> hey. No, this is no This is it. This is it. This is what you have left to do. This is what you Oh, you want to get on the bed. Come down before I wound myself. Come down here. Calm down. So this is it. No. Come on, come on, come on. No. Harry. No. Sister, sister, please take it easy on him, please. Mom. Harry. Sister. I said, come down. Come down here. Come down. So this is what you are learning to do. If you touch this kid, if you touch this kid, if you look at me, look at me. You asked for a phone and I gave you a phone. And this is what you're going to start doing. This is what you're going to start doing. This is what you're going to start doing. This is it. No, please, no. Sister, please take it easy on him now, please. This is what you're going to be doing. This is what you're going to be doing with the phone I gave you. It's not possible. You. It's Darlington, Darlington. What was that all about? Sis? Well, this is what that was all about. I don't understand. Read it. Maybe you will understand. I want you. I want you not to come to my home and lead my children astray. I want you. How dare you? Well, sis, this, this simply means that Henry is a normal 16-year-old boy. And all you needed to have done was talk to your son instead of beating him up like a common criminal. For God's sake. Shut your mouth. What is wrong with you? Now what? Hmm? What? You're going to stand here and pretend like you never had a crush on any boy or you were never 16. Don't forget, we grew up together. So what? At least our parents were able to save me from myself. No, they didn't. I can't say the same for you. No, they didn't. All they did was turn you into this insecure, angry, suspicious, and wicked woman who doesn't even know how to love her own children. Get out. Go pack your things and get out of my house. We're better off alone than with a very bad influence like yourself. Get out! Yes, baby. Can I tell you something? Of course, baby. But this one you're sounding very serious. What is it about? 
Mom, what if I told you I like a boy? <laughs> really? All right. And who is the lucky boy? <laughs> Come on, Mom, be serious. Mm, all right. <laughs> okay. So, what if you told me you like a boy? Like I have always told you, my love, it is only natural for you to like the opposite sex, all right? Females are wired that way. Okay. What if I told you the boy likes me too? Good heavens, Dara. I just hope you are not about to tell me he's coming to pay your bride price too. <laughs> <laughs> it's nothing of that sort, trust me. <laughs> okay. All right, so. Tell me, do I by any means know this Romeo you're talking about? Yes. Okay. Um, it's Henry. Oh, Henry. Uh. Okay. Well, Henry is a good boy. And thank God that I know his parents. Nevertheless, darling, both of you are still too young. To be in any kind of serious relationship. I know, Mom. But we can be friends and hang out together, can't we? Of course, you guys can be friends. Now, as long as you observe and keep all our off-limit rules. Of course, Mom. Okay. Avoid kissing. Mm -hmm. Avoid being alone together or in a compromising situation with a boy. Good. Avoid unprotected sex, even when I'm an adult. No sex until I'm adult. Mm -hmm. And finally, no indulging in alcohol as a minor. Should I continue? <laughs> That's all right, darling. <laughs> Very good. The lead seems on ending, right? <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm glad you know. <laughs> Okay, Mom. All right, darling. I'm coming. Hello, Henry. How are you? I'm very well, thank you, Mom. And you? I'm very well too, thank you. Um, please make yourself comfortable while I get my mom. Harry, wait! What happened? Adjoke, okay. ha how are you? You're here? Yes. You're welcome. Please. You sounded very urgent over the mm. phone. So I had to rush over immediately. What exactly is the problem? Well, the thing is, I just discovered that my son and your daughter are having something. And I think we should nip it in the bud before it escalates to something deplorable. Blessing. Are you by any chance talking about the fact that Henry and Dara likes each other? You already know? How come? Dara told me, of course. What? She had the effrontery to tell you that she likes a boy? I hope you beat out the stupid boldness out of her, like I did Henry. No, I didn't. But I appreciated the fact that my child could come to me and tell me about her feelings, rather than hiding it. <laughs> You're not being serious, are you? I am serious. How could I have possibly rewarded her trust with a beating. I mean, the only thing I need to do is to guide her properly and ensure she doesn't make any mistakes. That's the right thing to do. I love you both very much. You know that, don't you? Okay, I know it's hard to believe that now. But as you grow older, you will understand that whatever I do, I do because I love you. I want you to turn out the best. I really do love you. But I just want you to be careful. I need you to do the right thing at the right time. Okay, tell me, Ella. 
Would you be happy if you got pregnant at a teenage age? God forbid, Mom. No. See? And you, Henry, would it be a good thing if you impregnate that wayward girl, Dara? Do you know what that will mean? Do you realize what that will mean for you? Your dreams are gone. Our dreams for you as parents, dead. That's not going to happen. Not as long as I'm alive. I'm working so hard to bring up my children and, and make sure they are the best. And someone will come from nowhere and come and spoil my children for me. That's not going to happen. No. In fact, let me tell you, from now on, you have to reduce your association with her to the barest minimum. Because I can see that that girl has no home training. Do you understand? Do you... Hold your ears. Hold your ears and pull them. I need you to hear me. Stay away from that Dara girl. I will not allow her to come and spoil my children for me. No. Do you hear me? Uh -huh. It's better. Haven't said that you can both go to bed now. Um, Henry, make sure you put in one or two hours. Read tonight. Your national competition is around the corner. I won't get a hug. Is it that bad? Good night, Good night. Good night. Come. My champ. Good night. Hmm? Make sure you read. Texting me. Mm -hmm. No, Dara, you have to stop now. My mom sees my phone. She did? Yes, she did. I, I'm afraid she read our text message. Oh my god, I'm so sorry, Henry. She gave you a hard time, didn't she? Oh, she did. I still live. Um, how about you? I'm aware my mom told your mom about us. Did she also give you a hard time too? No, on the contrary. You see, I already told my mom we liked each other. And? And nothing. She was cool with it. She only advised me on the boundaries of her and was never cross with you. <laughs> I, I, I don't believe it. <laughs> Your mom must be an idiot. <laughs> no. She's just a regular mom. Trust me. Um, hey, can we go get shower, man? I want to sleep. Sorry, you're not the one thing. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, okay. Because you know I'm broke. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, you're Indian mother. <laughs> Hello, Cham. Dad. I forgot to give you this. Well, thank you, Dad. What happened here? Um, it's not... Dennis. What? Who did this to you? Honey. Blessing. Don't you think you overdid it? What could Henry have possibly done to deserve such a beating, such a punishment? So even you two, Donald. So now you're going to judge me for disciplining our son? Okay.
Read that. Read it and tell me if you were me, you would not do exactly what I did or even worse. Does this mean what I think it means? But that's what suits him. That's what suits... I told you. <laughs> I told you that was going to happen. <laughs> Good. I... Why are you dragging your feet? You can't walk properly again. Uh, I can't. And why are you slouching? Better. Yes? Uh, Mom, I want to tell you something. Okay. One of my friends is celebrating his birthday tomorrow. One of your friends? Which of them? My classmate, actually. So? I was invited. And his house is not so far away from me. It's just like a 10 You're minutes. not going anywhere. Please go back to your room. But, Mom, I oh, promise shut I... up. I said you're not going anywhere. Period. Or now you want to go and join the boys on the street drinking and smoking? What? Mom, no. It's just a normal teenage party. None of my friends. I smoke. said you are not going anywhere. You think I don't know what you small boys and girls do at those parties that you attend? You think I don't know? Please, just go back to your room. You're not mature enough to go to parties alone. When you're mature enough, Let's have this discussion again. Dad, please say something. I'm telling you to go back inside and you're saying that. Are, are you okay? Son, I'm afraid your mom is right this time around. No parties for now. Okay? My friend, get back to your room. Break the door. He wants to go to a party alone. How? What's the problem? Why are you crying? Um, I wish to be left alone. Please go out there. No. Brad, just tell me the reason you're crying. Please. Go out there with her. Promise me you'll be fine. Harry, Harry, you like this oh. more. You will not come for any birthday party, nothing, nothing. I swear. But you can talk. Only to oh. talk in class, like, you know. Sometimes baby, like baby. What a tall last one. See, 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 oh. see, see. Oh. <laughs> um, why this scornful laughter? See, Harry, you're a toddler. You didn't come to my birthday party yesterday because toddlers can't go to birthday party. I made me believe in your words. And let all happen. I was usually disappointed. Is that why both of you are laughing at me like fools? You didn't even bother to ask what happened. What else would have happened if mom said it allowed told her to go party? <laughs> but mind you, guy, you just wasted my invite. Michael, I strongly take exception for you calling me a toddler. Stop it now. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are you serious? Wait, Harry, everyone knows you're a toddler. Even that new beautiful girl knows you're a toddler. Michael! <laughs> Good afternoon, dear. You're welcome. Thank you. Good afternoon. Why is your face like that? Mom, I just have to say it now. I'm tired, I'm tired, I'm tired, I'm sick and tired of everything. I'm sick and tired of the way I'm being treated in this Shut house. Shut up! How are you being treated in this house? Mom, I certainly know the good things from the bad ones. And I know it's best to do the good ones and avoid the bad ones. Mom, I'm tired of the, of the way I'm being treated in this house. I have no mind of my own. I'm not allowed to make decisions. I'm not allowed to do anything. Do this, do that, do this, do that. Mom! What's going on here? <laughs> Your son has grown wings. The boy is possessed. Did you hear the way he was speaking to me? <laughs> Hey. 
Henry. What was that all about? Is that the way you talk to your mommy now? What has come over you? Look at me when I'm talking to you before I slap you. What was that nonsense all about? It was, it was nothing, Dad. Nothing? So what was that all about? You were practically screaming at your mommy at the top of your voice. Huh? At this age, you're already shouting at your mommy. So when you get up to the age of 20, you start beating her up, Abby. You beat her up. Sorry, Dad. You shouldn't be saying that to me. You should be telling your mother that you're sorry, not me. Now, move and tell her. I'm sorry, Mom. I'm sorry for the way I spoke to you. <laughs> so, Dara, when are you visiting us again? I'm not coming here again. Why? It's your turn to visit. I will come back when you visit. But Dara, my mother is not like your own mother. She doesn't allow us to go anywhere. I've told you already now. Yes, Dara. We hardly visit our friends. My mom said we are still too young to be jumping up and down on the street. But visiting a particular friend is not going up and down on the street. That's my mother for you. Anyways, I'll come over by weekend. Really? Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> thanks for coming. You're welcome. <laughs> Can you imagine this boy hugging that girl? If you see the hugging, you don't mean it. Let him come in here. This boy is trying my patience. Come here. Come here, kneel down. What were you doing outside? What did I just see you doing? I said, kneel down. What did I see? What was that you just did? What was that you, you just did? Oh. What was that you take me alone? Leave me! What was that you just did? What was that you just did? Leave me alone! What was that? What was that? It was just a friendly hug. What was a friendly hug? It was a friendly hug. So this is what you want to do? Get somebody pregnant and bring her into this house? At what age? At what age? No, 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 please! Honey, leave me! You! I will break your bones! What do you mean? You. What were you hugging her for? You. Oh, yeah. what, were you? what were you hugging her for? This boy wants to put me into trouble. You are the one that is always protecting him. You are the one always protecting this boy. When the trouble starts. No, no. When he I, I, I will talk. Leave me. At this age, he's hugging. For what? I will, I will beat him to stupor. If he doesn't want to have sense. You're hugging a girl. At what age? That's how it starts. That is how it starts. Henry. Henry, look, I'm so sorry. I'm really sorry, okay? Good. I don't even know what to say now. But look, please find a place in your heart and forgive them, okay? Please, I beg of you. Yeah, I will. Sure. Thank you. Um, is there something you wouldn't want me to do for you? Okay. Okay, I will be in my room now, okay? I will check on you soon, okay? Come on, stop crying. Please stop crying. Hi, 
Hi, Harry. Uh, hi. So, how are you doing today? I'm good. You? I'm good. But why do you always stay indoors these days? Like, you've always remained in your room and you no longer talk to me like before. Tell me, did I offend you? No, no, you, you have not done anything wrong to me. Sure. Yes. So why have you withdrawn from everyone in this house? Am I? Yeah. Oh, uh, well, maybe I'm just trying to stay away from any form of trouble. I see. So for how long would you continue to stay indoors? I... I don't know. Harry, I love you. I love you too. All right, come let's go watch the television together. Uh, not now, but I'll join you later. Okay, thank you. I'm waiting for you, okay? Thank you. Honey, are you still going to see Chief Edward? Yes, he said I should call him by 3 p.m. Okay. Come, where is Henry? I have not seen him. Did you, did, have you seen him since morning? Come, 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 come. Did I even see him yesterday? Uh, yes, 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 in the morning. Just in the morning. So where is, where, where could he be? Your son is in his room. Doing what? Eh? Why is he always restraining himself in his room these days? Why is he always there? I don't know. But if you ask me, it's better. He better stay in that room than go out there and be looking for young girls to hug. But I don't like this idea of his restraining himself in the room. Oh, Chief Edward is calling. Hello? Hi, Hella. Hi, Dara. How are you doing? I'm fine, and you? <laughs> I'm fine, thank you. You went to get a loaf of bread. Oh, yeah. You, where are you going to? Down the road to see a friend. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. You didn't come the other day as you promised. I came, but your mom turned me back. She said the two of you were busy and wouldn't entertain any visitors, so I left. Oh, I'm really sorry about that. I never knew. And I was telling Harry that you didn't come as promised. We were just busy waiting for you. <sighs> never mind. How is Henry? <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> Tell him I miss him so much. All right. Are you? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Bye, Bye then. <laughs> like I was saying, we have to forgive him at this stage. Sure you know that. Come on, blessing. Nobody throws the baby away with the bathwater. And, and I know, I know him, that he's sorry. I know him. I did not confine him to his room. Mom, here is the bread. Harry! Harry, what's the problem? I know he's sorry. I don't think he's sorry enough. What is that? What?
Please, mm -hmm. doctor. Is my son going to be all right? Oh, yes, of course. Thank God the poison he ingested hadn't done much damage before bringing him. X would have been very fatal. Oh, my God. I don't know what to say, but thank you. You're welcome, Mr. Donald. Um, if you don't mind, I'd like to see you and your wife in my office. We need to talk. Of course, yeah. 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 Excuse me. Yes. Mr. Donald. Yes, Doctor. Is there any case of mental illness in your family or that of your wife's? Uh, no. No, Doctor. None that I know of. No? No. Well, there are factors that could lead to one wanting to take his own life. But before that person reaches that point, there are signs, a red flag, I mean like depression. Doctor, are you saying that our son must have been depressed? Yes, very much so. Okay, tell me, have you noticed Henry's extreme mood swings or being withdrawn from family and friends? Yes, I... Uh, yes, he... He seems to be very withdrawn lately and... <laughs> he has occasional mood swings. But I thought he was just sulking. I didn't know he was... Well, Mr. and Mrs. Obi, I'm very sorry. I understand how devastated you feel right now. But I must warn us that you have to prepare for yourself and when he wakes up. If he has tried to take his life the first time, I'm afraid there could be a second time if care is not taken. Yes. I'm sorry. <laughs> He's going to be all right. Yes, the doctor say he'll be all right. He's going to be all right. I think I should go home, make some food, and then bring some change of clothes for him. I'm sure when he wakes up, he'll be hungry. Yeah, okay, okay. I, I would like Ella to go with you so as to help no, you. No, she doesn't have to. I'll just rush home and come back quickly. Okay, okay. Oh, <laughs> God. 
Ah, thank God, thank God, Harry, thank God. Thank you, thank you for staying alive for me. I'm so sorry. I saw this and I read it. It's all my fault. I'm sorry. I pushed you too hard. I just wanted you to turn out perfectly. I didn't know I was pushing too hard. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh God. I love you so much, you know that. I, I love you so much. <laughs> I'm changed. I'm changed. I'm a changed person. I will never touch you. I will never... Mom, Dad, I'm, I'm very sorry. Shh. You're here now. You're back. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. <laughs>